What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with another video. I talk about the IS300 a lot, a lot. It's, I love the car, it's awesome, it's fun to drive, it's my pride and joy, and it's the star of the show, if you will. There are a lot of people that have an IS300, that have a YouTube, that are like, I love this car, it's awesome, blah, blah, blah. So I figured there aren't a lot of people that tell you the opposite. So for today's episode, I'm gonna give you five reasons you don't want a Lexus IS300. All right guys, don't forget to like this video. Go ahead and do it down below if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you can see when I post and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Speaking of subscribers, my dad lives in Indonesia. He's an English teacher and he recently told me one of his students is a super big fan and watches all the videos and is just a super fan. So I wanted to shout out to Eleonora. Thank you for watching all the videos. Um, that's super awesome. It makes me super happy that um someone is watching from overseas i think that's super cool so i just wanted to say thank you for that now that that is over with let's get on to today's episode five reasons you don't want a lexus is 300. All right guys, so we're not gonna go through this list in any particular order. We're just gonna go one to five. So reason number one is gonna be gas, gas mileage. The IS300 has the worst gas mileage I have ever experienced in a car, literally ever. My 3000 GT from 1998 has better gas mileage than my 2001 Toyota. Um, so yeah, I pretty much have to get gas. Like every four days, it's it's a hassle. And I'm sure my other IS300 buddies can agree with me that this car gets terrible gas mileage. And the gauge in there, and I'll pop a picture up here in a second, but the gauge, for some reason, it goes up to 80. What car gets 80 miles to the gallon? I'm pretty sure the Prius gets like 58 or something like that. But number one is gonna be gas mileage for sure. Reason number two, that you don't want to get an IS300 is it's slow. It's really slow. Is it faster than a Honda Civic? Depends on what generation, but yes. Is it faster than a Miata? Of course. Is it faster than a 2008 Toyota Sienna? No, it's it's not. It's it's very very slow. The car gets naturally from the factory 215 horsepower. That is not a lot. And it takes a lot, and I mean like forced induction to make these cars fast. You can do full exhaust, headers, and cold air intake. And if you can somehow find a tune, because they're really hard to find for some reason for these engines. Um, if you can somehow find a tune and do all of that, it's probably still gonna make like 230, if that, if that. So yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty slow. And you have to do a lot like turbo or supercharged just to get that 400, 500 horsepower. And that's in today's standards, that's still not even a lot. So number two, they're slow. Okay guys, so reason number three is gonna step on some toes and I'm sorry. So the common misconception with the IS300 is that it's the same as the Supra. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry to do this to you, but it's not, it's not. So this engine, yes, it is still the 2JZ. It is still the three liter, but it's naturally aspirated. There's no turbos in it, no spoolie boys. And it features some weaker rods and different components like that. So it's not as bulletproof as the super engine. So you are never, ever, unless you do force induction, like I said earlier, or swap it with the 2JZ GTE, like from the Supra, you're never gonna make that 800, 900, 1500 Supra horsepower level. <laughs> You're never gonna do it, and I'm sorry. Now, for number four, I've already talked about this before on the channel, but we're gonna revisit it, because I still think it's stupid. 
this is it. Why does it come out? Why is it not bolted in or connected or screwed into there? I don't know, but it's not big enough to fit two large cups. And anytime you pull your drink out, it sticks with it. So you're drinking with your cup holder stuck to it. It's stupid. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And I hate it. Test number four is the cup holders. And also I'm gonna throw in the armrest again. It's too low, it's not comfortable. I did hear in the 2004 and 2005 models, they fixed it and raised it a little bit, but I don't know about the cup holder. It could be the same. But that's number four, stupid cup holder. And finally guys, the fifth and final reason you don't want an IS300 is this engine is the worst engine to do oil changes on. It's so stupid. It's all compact and all on the bottom and on the top. And it's just, it's terrible. And any IS300 owner can attest, unless you know a faster, easier way to do it. Terrible. It's so stupid to do an oil change on these things. Also, I have a check engine light on. It's the P0440. Um, apparently it's one of the most common check engine lights to come on in the car. Basically, it is the fuel tank overfill check valve. And I already bought the part, I just haven't put it in because either I can pay $1,000 for somebody else to do it, or I can pull the fuel tank down, drop the drive shaft, drop the exhaust, do all that, drain the fuel tank, and then put it on. And that's a lot of work that I don't really know how to do, honestly. Or the third reason is I've seen some people take the back seat out, drill a hole into the floorboard, and then change it that way. So those are my options. So maintenance, that's number five. It's stupid. All right, guys, and there you have it. There are the five reasons you don't want to own an IS300. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also have an update real quick. My wheels are ordered and on the way, so I'm super excited for those to arrive so I can put them on the car. And that would be one out of two of the goals for 2023 that I had was get the wheels on the car and suspension before Riverside Chattanooga. And it looks like the wheels are gonna get here just before then. So I'll get those on the car and then we'll go to Riverside. I couldn't get the suspension at the same time. I just couldn't afford it. So I picked wheels instead. So that's gonna be awesome. They're gonna look fantastic on the car. I'm super excited for me and for you to see the wheels on the car. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.